So thanks uh, yet again to Chris. The, uh, we come to the uh, last action of the day, basically, here at the West which is the top ten runoff for the bikes competing in the National Hill Climb Association series. And those uh, top ten selected, of course, based on their uh, times, best times on the hill. And the first bike that we will see is the uh, 310 bike of uh, Dirk Parnell. The uh, 350cc Ducati at a time of 56.84 up the hill uh, on his first run, on, on his earlier runs, I should say. It's his best time. 58 miles an hour then under the bridge for Dirk. He goes around uh, Vittores and on up, on up the uh, hill into Pardon. Just the one run for the top ten runoff and uh, one chance to uh, grab the honours then from this runoff. Through the S's then goes the Ducati. Up the hill to uh, to want uh, semicircle 56.84 to say was Doug's earlier time. Could he better that one? Though? He seems to be having problems. He seems to have slowed dramatically, unfortunately, because he records a time of 70.63. So I think mechanical problems there. Unfortunately for Doug Parnell. Next up, 265 is Harvey Mills in the. Uh, or on the 250cc aerial. And away he goes. Uh, he's going to be a little bit off the line there. And uh, 60 miles an hour then under the bridge. Comes into the tourist. Time was 27.25, but 25.88 in pardon means that uh, Harvey Mills is only a second and a half quicker on the opening section. And now uh, well, we can see just uh, what sort of problems Doug Pennell unfortunately is having because Harvey taking time out of him all the way through this run, going into semi circle now nearly 10 seconds. Quicker as he gets into Sammy. His time was a 55.94 in the first run. He does improve on that with it takes uh, seven tenths of a second off it to do a 55.24. Next to any Nigel Glover who did a 55.84 uh, in his two runs. He's going to have to improve on that to get ahead of Harvey Mills on this top ten runoff. The uh, 720, the Tricati. This, uh, Mongrel machine, really, with the Triumph engine Ducati frame. He's a tenth of a second down at Pardon on Harvey Mills. Goes on up the hill and uh, seems to be dropping time all the way. He's dropping uh, tenths, not a huge amount, but he is dropping time then, uh, despite the uh, Greater engine capacity, and he's now getting out the second down as he goes into Sammy. He goes up to the line, he's not, I don't think, going to match his previous time. He does a 56.31, so it is still Harvey Mills who leads the way. Now, what can Aidan Stafford do on the Honda CRF 450? He did a 55.24 in the, the two runs, uh, which is exactly the time that Harvey Mills had set. Uh, in this top 10 runoff, and he is quicker by nearly four tenths of a second on the first section of the hill. Another time as he comes into Pardon, we'll see how he's doing there. And he's 1.4 seconds up, so he's really uh, Im improving on his earlier times, at the moment at least. Nearly over a second and a half quicker at midway. And 1.3 seconds quicker at the S's, so uh, it's 
losing a little bit of time on that intermediate time, but uh, then picks it back up again. Second, second and a half push up again now. Up to the finish line, 55.24 the time to beat. He does a 54.03, and Aidan Stafford moves into the lead. And Simon Wilson, another person who has to find time compared to his uh, earlier runs, because his best run was a 54.52 on the uh, opening uh, or, or during the, uh, the two runs and he's just 400 down at the uh, very early stage of 64 feet mark which uh, really doesn't give us a huge guide we'll have one now as he comes into pardon and he is 3 tenths down then as he came into pardon on the rd 350 uh, compared to the time of uh, Aiden Stafford Aiden in that 450cc Honda CRF. So it's a tiny bit between Midway and the S's. But then drops a bit of time. He's half a second down as he goes into the semicircle. Comes up towards the line now. And his time is a 53.89. And he has beaten the time of Aiden Stafford. Made up time on that very last section. There's a 53.89 compared to his 54.52 uh, earlier on in the day. Mark Stafford uh, has to find half a second on his earlier runs if he is now to take the lead mark on the KTM Duke 790cc machine. And again, slightly quicker on the very uh, initial stage of the hill. And uh, still just hundreds in it as he goes into pardon on uh, this top 10 runoff still hundreds in it he's dropped three hundreds in fact uh, but runs very very wide and virtually comes to a halt in fact does come to a halt and that really has cost him any chance he had he continues on his way and it is now seven seconds down so unfortunately pushing hard and just that tiny little error is enough to drop him way down uh, and uh, I think probably Doug Parnell is probably going to be the only person that he is quicker than at the moment as he cruises over the line with a 65.70. So Simon Wilson it is who leads the way. Next up it will be Dick Sinkins on the 600cc Honda XBR. His time was a 53.63. So he was quicker than Simon Wilson's current best time in this runoff. And uh, he looks to be pushing hard on the run towards Ettore's. Around that long, long right-hander he goes then. Powers his way now up towards Pardon. And he stops the clock just a tenth of a second quicker than uh, Simon Wilson was uh, on his run and drops time then to midway he's four tenths down now as he goes through midway or very nearly and much the same at the s's 0.39 what will he be at uh, semi in he's seven tenths down at semi in so he is dropping time to Simpkins, Simpkins. and he comes to the finish line with a time very nearly a second down 54.82 it's still simon wilson who leads the way and Dick Sinkins uh, over a second slower than his earlier run. Richard Petey is on the line now. Richard did a 52.72 in the two runs earlier on. Uh, down there as he runs towards uh, Torres. Not actually making contact with the ground, but uh, he's put out as so many of the racers do these days. He's coming up to Pardon and he's half a second up at Pardon. So he's on course for quickest time in this runoff at the moment and it makes up another 300 coming to midway goes into the S's and continues to pick up time he's 0.64 up then at the S's he's coming to semi in he's nearly a second up at semi in he's, uh, heading for the line and looks like this could be the quickest time so far he drops some time but still is quickest 53.36 and again, slower than his run earlier on. But enough at the moment to put him at the top and a best of third place. Mike Fiddler then, who did a 51.78 earlier on. And 
Honda. Mike on the uh, 736 bike, the 750 Suzuki. He was nearly a quarter of a second up at that very first uh, timing point, and he's six tenths up. Uh, so he, co he goes into pardon. He's continuing to pick up time, over a second up at midway. And another two tenths picked up to the Estes. How will he do to Sammy in a second and a half up now as he comes around Sammy just around to the finish line and his time is a 51.50 he now moves into the lead and to second place goes Richard Peaty which have just one more bike left to run and that is Dave Peet who did a 50.25 if he can repeat that he will win this runoff but can he do it is the question on the KTM 800cc machine so Dave Peet bike right? number nine it's around the Torres opens it up for the run up to Pardon into Pardon what's he doing he's over a second a second and a quarter up at Pardon runs out very wide on the exit of Pardon but uh, just keeps it on the black stuff and it's now 1.4 seconds up at midway another time coming up for us now and it's 1.6 up up tenths all the way up to when they wide on the exit of the S's up to semi in where he's dropped a tenth he's still a second and a half up around semi in he goes for the finish line and he's the first bike to get under the 50 second mark today with a 49.66 seconds it is a win for number nine Dave Pete in second place it's 736 Mike Fiddler and in third place 553 Richard Petty so some uh, Good, exciting action there in our top 10 runoff. And uh, hats off to the, uh, the bike riders and everyone who's competed today. Once again, a big thank you to uh, all of our marshals and officials. Thank you to all the competitors for the entertainment that they provided. And uh, thanks as well for the uh, support that we've enjoyed from uh, various organisations.